There are moments in military aviation when a nation doesn't just upgrade its fleet, it jumps decades ahead in a single leap. And right now, China is doing exactly that. Quietly, without the theatrical announcements you usually see from global superpowers, China has built a collection of hypersonic jets so advanced, so specialized, and so strategically disruptive that they are reshaping the balance of power above the clouds. Imagine a stealth fighter designed to intercept threats before radar even knows it's there. A naval jet built for electromagnetic catapults that launch aircraft with the violence of a thunderbolt. A drone so futuristic it looks like it belongs in a video game. Angular, dark, and built for autonomous deep strike missions. And a mega drone so massive it can deploy an entire swarm mid-flight like a mothership releasing digital predators. These aren't prototypes. These aren't CGI concepts. These are operational machines, each engineered with a purpose. Control the skies, dominate the seas, and extend China's reach far beyond its borders. In this video, we're diving into the six most advanced hypersonic jets China has ever created, Chengdu J-20. The Chengdu J-20 isn't just another stealth fighter. It's the aircraft that announced China's arrival into the elite club of nations capable of building fifth-generation air dominance platforms. When it appears on radar, if it appears at all, it's already too late. The J-20 was sculpted like a blade, sharp, angular, predatory, and engineered with one purpose in mind. Control the sky before the enemy even knows it's there. Its faceted, stealth-optimized design allows it to slip through radar networks like a ghost. Paired with long-range precision missiles and an advanced sensor fusion system, the J-20 can track multiple targets far beyond visual range while remaining virtually invisible. In simple terms, it sees you long before you ever see it. What truly unsettles Western analysts is that the J-20 isn't a defensive aircraft. It's an offensive spearhead. It's designed to hunt high-value assets, AWACS planes, aerial tankers, and strategic bombers. Assets that keep an air force alive. If those go down, everything around them collapses. And now, with new engines that improve thrust and supercruise capability, the J-20 is transitioning from a stealth interceptor to a true hypersonic jet, capable of challenging even the F-22 in certain mission profiles. Shenyang J-35 The Shenyang J-35 is China's answer to a question only superpowers can ask. How do you project stealth air power from the middle of the ocean? This aircraft isn't designed for runways. It's designed for aircraft carriers, launched not by steam, not by brute force, but by electromagnetic catapults that throw it into the sky with the precision of a railgun. That alone places China in a technological category shared only with the United States. The J-35 is what happens when you fuse naval aviation with next-gen stealth engineering. Its folding wings, serrated edges, and radar-absorbing skin allow it to disappear over open water, the most hostile, radar-dense environment on Earth. While traditional carrier jets roar into combat with brute noise and visible signatures, the J-35 rises quietly, like a shadow breaking from the deck. What makes the J-35 particularly dangerous is its mission profile. This isn't a defensive fighter. It's a hypersonic jet, built to escort strike groups, penetrate contested airspace, and neutralize enemy ships before they ever reach firing range. Its sensor suite allows it to fuse data from drones, satellites, and the carrier itself, creating a digital net across the sea. With advanced missiles and electronic warfare capabilities, the J-35 essentially turns China's carriers into stealth-enabled strike fortresses. AVIC Dark Sword If the J-20 is the silent hunter and the J-35 is the ghost of the open sea, then the AVIC Dark Sword is something much more unsettling. The first glimpse of a future where fighter jets no longer need pilots and where reaction time is measured in microseconds, not human reflexes. Dark Sword isn't shaped like a traditional aircraft. It looks like a flying dagger, a sharp angular predator built solely around stealth, speed, and lethality. The design screams one thing. This machine wasn't meant to escort. It was meant to strike first. This is a UCAV, an unmanned combat aerial vehicle, but calling it a combat drone feels embarrassingly outdated. Dark Sword is built to fly at extreme speeds, penetrate contested airspace, and carry out missions that would be suicidal for a human pilot. No fatigue, no hesitation, no fear. But its true advantage lies in its autonomy. 
Dark Sword is designed to operate as part of an AI-driven loyal wingman concept, flying alongside manned fighters like the J-20, sharing data, hunting targets, and even executing attacks independently. Imagine a swarm of stealthy, razor-shaped jets coordinating at machine speed while enemy pilots are still processing their first radar blip. That's the gap we're talking about. Its long, flat airframe reduces radar return to almost nothing. Its intake design suggests high hypersonic performance, and its mission profile, deep strike, interception, electronic warfare, hints at a future where human pilots delegate the most dangerous tasks to machines built precisely for that danger. Gijo WZ-7 Soaring Dragon. The Gijo WZ-7 Soaring Dragon is not designed to fight. It's designed to know everything. Information doesn't just guide battles, it decides them. The WZ-7 is China's strategic eye in the sky, a high altitude, long endurance UAV engineered to quietly watch an entire theater of operations without ever being noticed. Its distinctive joined wing design is the first clue that this aircraft isn't normal. It looks less like a drone and more like something that drifted out of a DARPA sketchbook. Long, slender, aerodynamic, and optimized for stability at extreme altitudes. And once it climbs above 18,000 meters, almost nothing can touch it. From that height, the WZ-7 can track warships, shadow submarines, monitor carrier groups, and follow missile signatures across hundreds of kilometers. It feeds that data straight into China's missile and naval networks, giving China something priceless, real-time situational awareness across the South China Sea, Taiwan Strait, and even parts of the Pacific. Its endurance is measured in days, not hours. Its radar signature is tiny, and its mission is simple. Stay up, stay silent, stay watching. What makes it truly powerful is the system behind it. The WZ-7 isn't a standalone drone. It's a node in a massive digital web that connects satellites, ships, fighter jets, and missile batteries. With it, China doesn't just react to threats, it anticipates them. MD-22. The MD-22 is the aircraft you build when you're not trying to dominate the sky. You're trying to dominate the space just beneath it. This unmanned hypersonic jet looks nothing like a traditional aircraft. Its long, blade-like fuselage and arrowhead silhouette tell you immediately that it was engineered for one purpose, conquer velocities where air turns into fire. Designed to reach speeds near Mach 7, the MD-22 operates in that terrifying boundary between atmosphere and space, where only a handful of machines on Earth can survive. At those speeds, radar becomes almost useless, interception becomes impossible, and distance becomes irrelevant. The MD-22 is not a drone. It's a testbed for a new era of strategic, a platform designed to push China's hypersonic technology to the limits, gathering real data on temperature, material stress, control at hypersonic speeds, and aerodynamic stability in near space. All of that feeds into the development of future weapons and reconnaissance vehicles that can cross continents in minutes. But what truly unsettles analysts is the MD-22's mission potential. A vehicle like this can serve as a hypersonic surveillance platform, a delivery system for next-gen precision weapons, a strike asset able to appear above targets before alarms even sound. It's the kind of machine that erases the very idea of safe distance. The MD-22 isn't just fast. It's strategically transformative. A glimpse of a world where the sky is no longer the limit, it's the launching point. Jutian SSUAV. If most drones are birds, the Jutian SSUAV is a flying aircraft carrier, a colossal megadrone engineered to unleash an entire ecosystem of smaller drones mid-flight. Nothing like this has flown in the West, nothing even close. This machine doesn't just fly, it deploys. With a wingspan larger than many manned aircraft and an enormous internal bay, the SSUAV acts as a mothership capable of carrying dozens, even scores, of attack drones. Once airborne, it opens its belly and releases them like a digital storm, each unit pre-programmed for reconnaissance, jamming, or direct strike missions. Think of it as a hive that creates instant chaos. A single megadrone can launch a swarm designed to overwhelm enemy air defenses through sheer volume, leaving radars blinded, systems jammed, and command centers paralyzed. By the time defenders understand the pattern, the swarm has already adapted, because every drone communicates with the mothership and with each other. Its missions go far beyond attack. Deep penetration reconnaissance, D-2, 
decoy generation, escorting bombers and fighters, acting as an airborne command node. This isn't just a drone, it's a doctrine, a new way of fighting where one launch becomes many and one machine becomes a sky full of threats. China's leap into advanced aviation isn't just impressive, it's transformative. From stealth hunters like the J-20 to autonomous predators like the Dark Sword, from hypersonic test beds like the MD-22 to colossal motherships like the Jiutian SSUAV, every machine on this list points to the same reality. China is building an air power ecosystem designed for a new era. Some of these aircraft dominate the sky, and a few of them dominate the space between air and orbit. Together, they paint a picture of a nation accelerating toward a future where speed, stealth, autonomy, and overwhelming drone capacity decide who controls the battle space. If this deep dive into China's most advanced hypersonic jets fascinated you as much as it fascinated us, make sure to subscribe because the next wave of breakthroughs is coming even faster and you won't want to miss what's flying toward us next.